Speaking of, too, I want to speak, uh, talk about basketball wives, um, of course. And, uh, <laughs> no, not messy. No, like, no. I want to know, know because I've seen you on Basketball Wives where I was introduced to you, mm -hmm, of course. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into mm -hmm. a little bit later um, how you were on The Real World. Yes. And I never knew that. Yes. Like, that's correct. Yes. <laughs> you never knew that? No, I never. I mean, I was introduced to you by the Basketball Wives, oh watching my the Basketball God. Wives. You, 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 so, you so young. Young child. That's what it is. No, no, actually, um, it was another couple. It was a couple on the real, the real world, uh -huh. um, uh, like a dark skinned guy and a mixed yeah, chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember them. Get, but I don't remember. I don't remember like you being crazy I on there or nothing like that. Child, we started it all. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It would be no others what? if it were not for real world. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. I was so young. I remember that now. No, oh, now no but remember, look at you. Child. Look at you. Like, how old were you? Like, I was you 23. 10. I was 23. Wow. I was 23 when look we did it. that you, real world. But, but what was it different than, like, being on Basketball Wives? Listen. With real world, we didn't even know what the hell we were doing, you right. know? So it's like, they just were like, we want seven people. You know, I auditioned and they picked me and they moved us into a house and all I knew was I didn't have to pay rent Fact. for five months. <laughs> so I was like, boom, bet, I'm there. Okay. But, uh, you know, they put cameras in the house. Everywhere. Everywhere, except the bathroom. And now, you know, reality TV, you get a schedule, it's like you're gonna shoot with so-and-so, you know, it, so it's completely different in that way. Yeah. And we didn't have social media back then. Yeah, you know? no, of yeah. course not. So, but, so, uh, was it as messy, you would say? I mean, I don't or is think, it the same like I, level I wouldn't classify of it as messy because okay. I think we were here again we were so new that we didn't understand the genre or the format it hadn't been developed yet so we were just living our lives you know like on real world a lot of people saw me approach abortion issues and you know weight issues and issues with my mom and with basketball wives I think they wow. uh, and other reality shows they tend to skew more towards where's the drama and less of what's happening in these people's real lives. Mm, yeah. mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you know, you know. You yeah, know. I mean, somewhat, you know, I thank God I was able to miss that kind of like that boat a little bit, even though it was, like you said, our real lives. Right. Like, so it was like, it wasn't like, okay, we coming to the set or we gonna try to start some drama. It was like, no, nah, this is actually. This is, this, is, life. this is actually your life. Yeah. <laughs> you know like what? I, I loved, I loved um, your show that you used to have. I don't know if I probably can't say the other network, but when it, when it's you, your mom. No, we just gave a shout out to C, C, CW. Okay, so it was on BET. Mm -hmm. And it was you and your mom and your sister. That show was so good. I, you know, like, I, I, I was waiting for that one to come back. Thank you. Because I felt like y'all were dealing with, can we curse? Yeah. Y'all was dealing with real shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and any drama that came was authentic and genuine. You know, you didn't show up to work and go, now who gonna have a problem today? Who gonna make up something, you so know, that they it, bothered with? do you with? think that it's like that with the basketball wives? I mean, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm, I am really a very mild-tempered person. Ah, girl. I really, I really am. <laughs> now I really we am. dragging it. No, I really Tell am. Me. I really am. Tell but me. if you mess with Bonnie me. Bonnie Chronicle shows what, you. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I have that side to me, too. But with basketball-wise, it was just kind of like, I, I am very mild-tempered. But I would show up, and it's like, I am also the person, if you mess with me, then you're going to get something back. Mm. So if you're constantly showing up every day and somebody has an issue with you or a problem, mm -hmm. then you're going to be seen a certain ty type of way. Okay. So Evelyn was the first kind of, I feel like, were, right? You got into it with her Oh, yeah. We, we had a tumultuous relationship the entire the time, time I was on the show. Um, until, you know, like a lot of people saw me leave you know, this year, this season, and uh, it, was, it was partially due to that. It's like you can't show up every day. And this has been going on since I started Basketball Wise in 2010. Damn. So, yeah, so 10 years of, bitch, what's wrong with you? I'm <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone, you know? So it yeah. just finally got to a point where I was trying to do more with my life. My mom passed away in 2013. Sorry, yeah. yeah, thank you, to uh, liver cancer. And I just said, you know what, this is not what she wanted me to endure. 
And equally so, it wasn't living up to the thing, the way she yes. raised me. You know, you always want to do your parents proud, you know. And I just felt like I was coming on there, and because they created characters out of us, they always showed one side of me. I'm not ever saying that I don't have that side of pop a bitch real quick, mm -hmm. because I do. But mm -hmm. you can't just only show that. When I'm a mom, a wife now, you know, a, a Christian, God-fearing woman, very spiritual, a philanthropist, you know, they weren't showing we any that. of that. Exactly. Yeah. So that's We don't know a lot it. of that. And that that's I'm glad that you're here. Yes, I'm glad, I'm I'm glad, glad to that be we here. get to explain. Yeah, give it up. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad that we here. get to show everybody and talk to everybody about that because I mean that it can get boxed in. Yes, you very boxed. Yes, in. I, st like, okay. I stayed too long because a lot um, of people don't even know that I was an actress for 18 years. I was like surprised yeah. reading today. I was, I mean, when last night when they sent me everything over, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, yeah. Jamie was in the yeah. same <laughs> picture yeah. with Holly <laughs> Berry. <laughs> Yeah. I like girl. Yeah, so the people didn't, you know, they don't know that because their first introduction to me was basketball wise. And, and people, yeah, you know, getting at you and you having to smack people around. Right, right, right. I feel you. I feel you. And I felt like that with my show too. I get very boxed in, and it's yeah. like, no, guys, I want to be happy. They're right. Like, yeah, I'm no. happy too. I'm happy most of the time. You know, you can show that too. You know, but. You know, when you don't have the editing control and, you know, you're not a producer and you're not controlling content. Okay, you but be... you and, um, what's, uh, what's her name? Mona Scott? Sh Shani. Who? Sh Sh who? Who? Shaq's wife. <laughs> Shaq's wife. <laughs> who girl. Who talking about? What's her name? Shawnee. Shawnee. Yes. She's, I mean, She's you guys the EP. are close, right? Uh, I, I thought in my mind. Uh-oh. <laughs> that we were close. And I thought that we had a Work. camaraderie and a sisterhood and a mutual respect for each other. And um, I found out, you know, over the past three seasons, who phone is on? <laughs> you better put that on silent. Uh, We're live and we want to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, over the past three seasons, I kind of felt like um, the lack of friendship was shown rather than the sisterhood as it pertained wow. to me. Which so is, you, which did, is unfortunate did you because I feel care for like Shani. there was favoritism with other cast members? Or? Absolutely, I, I think that. I think that uh, when I went back to the show uh, Basketball mm. Wise LA in 2015, I thought that cast was great. You know, we had Megan, we had Brandy, we had Malaysia, Jackie. I thought it was great. And then 2016, into what I like to call the demon seed. Uh, and, uh, you know, the whole dynamic changed, you know, and for me, it just was not a happy place to be once she returned. And, th and this is no secret. And she is we're, who? We're Evelyn. Okay. Whose name I don't say. Okay, sorry. But I that. gave it to you Thank just you because so you asked. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but um, sh it's no secret. She doesn't like me. She never has liked me. I tried to be friends. And so now I've accepted that she doesn't like me. So now I don't like you. Right. And that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So, but you don't think that there was a way that you guys could have done work together and moved on and possibly I tried numerous, I tried numerous times. I, I really and truly did, Keisha. And, and to find out, you know, that there were a lot of workings going on behind the scenes and emails being sent and negative derogatory things being said about my health and my miscarriages mm -hmm. and all the way up to network executives. And I felt like at that point that was crossing a line for me. So there was no way we could work together again. Well, I wish we would have talked. Because I would have told you. What would you have told me? I would have told you we could just go ahead and go get a life coach together. Balance, balance this out, right? Mm -hmm. Get this little check, big check. Right. Right, right. <laughs> and, you know, and then keep on, because at the end of the day, I think, you well, know. Well, I think she what, went to a life coach, right? Wasn't Eon on the set up for a time for with her? Was she? I think so. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But I thought that was when her and Chad got Boom. into it. Okay. So that, okay. So then that's the vibe. It's over now. So now we're, um, <laughs> that we're, I said we're, far too much. Yeah, we're acting and, and doing our vibe. So what's yes. up with that? Well, how has that been I, going? I, uh, I see you with Paris. Yes. In that film yes, on Fall Netflix. Girls. Fall yes. Girls. Another BET phenom. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was fun because when I left the show, it's like I always, I studied the craft of acting. So acting is not like something that I said one day, oh, I want to act. You know what I mean? I always tell people I'm not a reality star who's trying to act. I'm, I'm an actress. actress who ended up on reality TV. So I just got back into it. You know what I mean? I started 
hitting the ground running with auditions and stuff like that. And uh, luckily, by the grace of God, the first job that I got was a show called Extant with Halle Berry right. uh, on CBS. And then uh, that kind of spiraled and transitioned into Truth Be Told on Apple with Octavia Spencer, did the movie Fall Girls with Paris. And what about we Reese Witherspoon? How, yes, Reese Witherspoon is the executive producer of Truth Be Told, oh. which is on Apple. Yeah, so uh, and a phenomenal executive producer, Michelle Tramble Spellman wrote that. And you know, I was I was so scared going in because I knew I'd have to play opposite Octavia. Uh -huh. uh, I actually play her stepmom on the show, like her young, feisty stepmom, who's, yeah, yeah, who's yeah, yeah. married to Ron C. Jones, who's amazing as well. But I was so scared because I was like. Oh God, this lady's, you know, is she gonna accept me? You know, the whole reality TV thing. Is she gonna see past this? You know, because as you level up, it's like you don't know if people are gonna say, well, she gonna smack somebody on set. You know, I mean, we gotta we gotta check all this out first. And so yeah. I was a little nervous, but I went in there and, you know, got that role and it's just been great. I've just been Because blessed. I feel like your energy is amazing, too. Like, Thank you. I went, like, we've been out to yes, eat. Yes, we and, have. And I'm just like, I'm, she's like, girl, you my girl. She said, that, 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 that goddamn booby did. Yeah. Did you, did what we gotta, and I seen him, girl. I, yeah. I said, yeah, I I said she is much. the coolest. Too much. Her energy, no, it's just so good. I love your energy, Thank and it you. makes me feel like we need to be friends. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, then and I watched, we both got young husbands. See what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> see, now? Coming we can, out. We can relate you on that. You see it now. You <laughs> see it. No, and then, and so, okay, question. So would you rather be an actress and actually just go ahead and take on films, or would you mind Yes, I love the acting space. reality. I, it's not that I don't love reality, because I would definitely do another reality show, ensemble, or myself, but it would, I would have to be able to control the content. And so it would have to be my thing. I would have to have my hands in it a little more. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. So until then, I'll just play characters. Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think, so what is the creative process when it comes to, like, the drama in reality and mm -hmm. versus the drama on TV sets? Like, what's the difference? There, I've never... There really is no drama on TV sets. Uh -huh. You know, everybody's there to do their job and play their character, you know what I mean? So you read the script, you learn the lines, and you show up. You know, with reality TV, there are no lines, and, you know, you're depending on people. None at all? No. They don't feed you anything? They don't feed us lines, no. They don't feed you like, okay, you need to go here with this person, and then this is where we're trying to go with this. What they do is say, you know, you're going to meet with for OG, you know, you're gonna meet with OG at this restaurant, mm -hmm. and you guys are gonna talk about uh, what happened at the brunch, or and that's gonna bring the drama. Yeah. We don't want no drama. Yeah, we over the drama. Yeah, you know, depending on whether you loved the brunch or hated the brunch, you know, the conversation could be positive or negative. Or a drink being thrown. Yes, <laughs> which I never do. Good, good, because <laughs> I want my alcohol. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so wait, so speaking of that, um, you got married secretly? I did. Mm -hmm. I uh Congratulations. Yeah, I thought it was it was supposed to be happy. I eloped. Um and uh Reggie is my husband and he's phenomenal and he's seventeen years younger than me. Right. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. deserve that. I do. Yeah. I deserved to be loved. Yeah. At the same magnitude that I was loved. <laughs> Go loving. ahead. I told you guys you, know. you could clap and, and come on any anytime you want to. I said preferably for me. Yeah. <laughs> But it's heavy cool. <laughs> now go ahead. Yeah, no. So, you know, I eloped. The only thing I hated about eloping was that I didn't include my daughters in that process. Um, but he was so spontaneous with it, you know, and I had said no so many times. Like, we've been together six years, married one and a half. Wow. So for five years, he's asked me to marry him, and I always say no because I never wanted to be married again. And he planned this whole Vegas thing, and I just got caught up in the Matrix. And next thing I know, I was at a chapel with a little old white lady <laughs> who had married Elvis, marrying me. You know, so it was one of those. But, uh, you, know, we, you know, if we decide to do it again, you know, to, to have my daughters be a part of the process. And what about him? He has any kids or? He has no children. He has no children. We tried three times. We unfortunately suffered three miscarriages. And, and you know, now we're considering a surrogate. You know, something like that. I saw Candy had somebody have her baby. I was like, well, shit. I had somebody yeah. have her baby. <laughs> oh, okay, child, that's what we doing now? Well, you know, so, you know, uh, you know, we got the eggs and we harvested those. And so now we're looking for a person. 
that's to, good. Uh, that's good. Yeah,